This is the Amrita Sun Butter and Jelly. 15 grams of protein, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, high fiber protein bar. So this one from uh, Amrita Health Foods is one that I've never tried before. I have tried the um, Amrita brand and I have to say, very interesting experience with that. Before I get into that though, and I will tell you that story, I wanna just quickly look through the ingredients and the label on the back side here. A little quick screenshot of that. Um, it's got eight grams of fat, 75 grams of sodium, 11 grams of sugar, 15 grams of protein. Obviously the attractive part to me on that is the protein. A little high on the sugar, I think about over 10 grams is usually considered kinda of high. Um, number one ingredient, date paste, brown rice protein, sunflower seed butter, sunflower seed, uh, coconut oil, pea crisps, pea protein isolate, rice flour, rice starch, chia seeds, dried blueberry, dried strawberry, unsweetened coconut, chicory root, and Himalayan pink salt. So all in all, those are pretty nice ingredients. I mean, that sounds like almost all, you know, things that I would consider eating just like in isolate isolated from each other you know and salt and um, strawberries blueberries chia seeds all that good stuff before I open this up and take a taste and sort of let us see if it passes the smell test and all that good stuff is I'll tell you a quick story not really a great story uh, really for Amrita foods that is I had purchased a couple of these bars this was man this was back in like 2016 I want to say and um, I opened them up I ate one I liked it I had a few others that were just kind of there in my uh, pantry waiting to be eaten they weren't there very long like maybe less than a week and then I ate another one well right before I ate it I opened it up and I noticed it was a little fuzzy the, the bar itself had actually gotten like mold on it. So, yeah, on the one hand, it's pretty gross. I'm glad I didn't eat that. I saw it beforehand. On the other hand, that's a sign that this is like live food. You know, it's not gonna go bad. Like a, like a Snickers bar is not gonna go bad after a couple of weeks or a couple of months. You know, like who knows what's in that stuff. So that was a good thing that, you know, it could say like, food that's in here it's kind of like that raw food and um, I did reach out to that to the uh, company and I actually got in contact with the owners just out of curiosity got in contact with them and um, they seem like really good guys they uh, they refunded they gave me a whole box for free and like I said this was a couple of years ago so this has nothing to do with grabbing this bar I saw this one at the store just it looked like one that I hadn't actually tried before and so that's why I ended up going for this one. But that's my story of uh, the Amrita Foods protein bars from a couple years ago. So I like the labeling and the packaging of this. I think that's why I ended up grabbing it. Like you can see here, it's got these strawberry, blueberry. It kind of indicates what's in there. Let's open this up. It does smell like jelly, like, uh, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich kind of. So, it looks like you, you know, sort of a date bar, like a Lara bar or something like that. How, just from first glance, like it's all kind of mushed together, but it's usually, it's mostly dates that are holding it in, intact, which makes sense because that's actually the first ingredient. So, I'm gonna give this a try. Is it not my favorite smell? I mean, personally, I like bars that are chocolatey or peanut butter bars, stuff like that. So. Going for something like this, I honestly would not have even picked it up had the label, first of all, not appealed to me, it was appealing. So beyond that though, having 15 grams of protein definitely was attractive. I said, you know, this might be something different that I could try that's like one of those chocolate protein bars, but maybe something a little different. So let me give this a try. I kind of like it. It's um, it's not as 
like dense and chalky tasting as say like the think thin you know plant-based bar but it's got a good texture to it it almost ta it, it actually feels like I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich as a matter of fact like you, you would, you'd be biting you know the bread and the jelly and the peanut butter all at the same time that's kind of what that tastes like I like it I definitely in order to eat this whole bar definitely would uh, want some coffee or water or tea something like that but I could see this being a good compliment to some of the other bars that I have in my rotation so yeah I would recommend this the sun, the sun butter and jelly bar really just a matter of taste it seems like the ingredients are good so whatever your taste preference is um, you may like it you may not but if you've tried this before let me know let's talk about it down in the comments um, have you ever tried any other bars by Amrita anything like that and beyond this bar here to get fresh ideas everywhere you drink or eat go ahead and tap that subscribe button and right next to it that little notification bell give that a little tap too and you'll get um, you get these updates to, from me straight to your inbox I upload every day so leave a comment like the video um, and I'll be happy to uh, bring something fresh to your inbox tomorrow